Ah, what a beautiful day. Hopefully, I get to boss around uh, some more peasants around this area. Because I feel like doing nothing today. Oh, excuse yourself, peasant. I, I mean, <clears throat> hello, dear. You don't know who I am. <laughs> what, you must be joking, right? Oh, you're not. You're serious. Oh. <clears throat> well, darling, the name is Tamaki Suo, and I'm the king of the Oran High School Host Club. It is a pleasure to meet you. May I see your hand? Beautiful. Mwah. So, what is your name? Hmm. That's a very peasanty name. <laughs> Why, yes, I did call you a peasant. Well, I'm a higher up. After all, I'm the king. So I always have to treat my peasants the way they're supposed to be treated. Hmm? You don't know what the... <laughs> this has to be an impractical joke. You don't know what the host club is? <laughs> well, dear. You have a lot to learn, don't you? After all, we are like the number ones in this school. Honestly, the number runs all around. You see, our training is to make every single girl happy and swoon over us because we are the hosts. And swooning is what we do best here. So. Oh. You seem a lot more interested. Are you saying what I think you're saying, peasant? <laughs> so you want to be a host, then? Mm, I see, I see. Well, I'm going to have to bring you to the other hosts, but... There's a lot of training you're going to have to do if you want to become a host like me. Or anywhere near my standards. <laughs> mm hmm So, what is your main goal of wanting to become a host? <laughs> oh, you're serious. <laughs> oh, okay, well, a little bit odd to become a host, but as long as you keep everyone smiling and swooning over your gorgeousness, if that's what you're calling it. Then I guess there's no problems with you being a host. All right. Well, there's a lot to learn. Especially with your um, lack of likability. Mm -hmm. But of course you're going to have to have a meeting with every single host in the host club. Just so you can get them, get to know them more. And you have lots of paperwork to sign as well if you want to become a part of the host club. And you have to sign some waivers so we, as the host club, do not get sued for anything that you have become in a danger of. 
and or have become a danger yourself to others. Do you understand that, darling? Splendid, splendid. You're doing just fine. Now, something about you isn't right. Can I take a look at you for a second? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. It's your clothes. Well, you're wearing clothes of a commoner. You're wearing clothes of the, the lower people. If you want to become a host, you need better clothing as well. You need to look sharp. You need to look dapper. You need to look sexy for all the women out there. You need to swoon their hearts so they can work more for us. So we don't really have to do anything at all. <laughs> well, of course, that sounds... Uh, that sounds a little bit uh, tedious. But I'm pretty sure you can do it. If you haven't the brain enough to do it, that is. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help but hear a buzz. Was that your phone? Hmm. So you're getting text messages as you're talking to the king of the host club. Let me see your phone. Come on, peasant. I don't want to be waiting all day. I want to see your little friends you're talking to. Don't be shy now. Come on. Thank you. Hmm. Ah. I see. So you have little friends. A little friend group, I see. Oh. And maybe an even more of a friend here. What's their name? Ooh, it's another peasant. So a little love story is going on between you and this person here. <laughs> That's adorable. But yet I'm not interested. Take your phone back. But, back on topic. You want to become a host? Fine. You're just gonna have to go through all the paperwork and people. That's all. Splendid. Come walk with me. I want to get to know you a little bit more. So, what's your name again? Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention because I thought you were just some uh, random. Hmm. I forgot you had the peasant name. Nice. And what is, how old are you, if you do not mind me asking this? Nice, nice. Your height. Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. It's always rude to ask someone for their weight. But this is going to be included in the paperwork, so you're going to have to write it down anyway. Okay. Your favorite color. Oh. <laughs> it matters because we need to pick out a color for your rose. You see, each host has a different color rose to go with their personality, and even more with their character. Makes them more known as the person, as the host, as the leader. 
Do you understand? Do I have to write it down for you, peasant? No? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. My, my. You've been learning quite fast. Question mark? I don't know how much you've been listening to me as I babble about, but my babbling could get you a lot of ladies. If you listen to me, that is. So are you listening to me, darling? Hello? <laughs> oh, I see you spotted Koru outside of the swimming pool. He's one of the hosts. And you're going to have to talk with him as well. Well, I mean, it is summer. Uh, the swimming pools are for the public. Even though peasants swim in all the time. Sends a shiver down my spine every time I think of it. But, you know... Sometimes when the pool gets clean, the host gets the first picking of being inside of the pool. Well, of course. If you want to be a host, you're going to get first pickings for almost anything. Because you're going to be a VIP. A very important person. So you always get first in everything. The lunches. The swimming pools. Etc., etc. Speaking of, I think your next period is starting, peasant. We'll talk more about you aren't becoming a host later. So run along. You don't want to miss your class, dear. <laughs> Ta ta!